welcome back students to one more session of your aldehydes ketones and carboxylic acid chapter we've already done the physical properties of uh, aldehydes ketones and carboxylic acids now let us i also discussed certain you know reactivity of carbonyl compounds why is uh, the carbonyl compound reactive what is the reason based on your car uh, carbon uh, carbon atom as well as oxygen atom i've already shown that in the previous video now let us read this question and also try to solve this before we go to the chemical properties of aldehydes and ketones yes so what does this question ask why are aromatic aldehydes and ketones less reactive than aliphatic aldehydes and ketones okay and arrange the following in the decreasing order of reactivity right basically uh, uh, the intention of me giving such questions is in the exam paper the you'll be question like this only if i give you a ready made answer it is easy for you to write in the exam so that is the reason i keep giving questions like that hope it is useful for you all yes so when i read this question <laughs> they said aromatic aldehydes and ketones okay so when i take an aromatic aldehyde aromatic aldehyde or ketone okay let us take an example so first most important they are less reactive they said why should, why is it less reactive let us first write the reason and then show it so we will write aromatic aldehydes and ketones are less reactive copy the same sentence as it is in the question due to following reasons due to the following reasons start writing reasons first important as soon as you see an aromatic aldehyde aromatic aldehyde as we know benzaldehyde aromatic ketone for example <coughs> acetophenone correct yeah what is the thing which you are observing in aromatic compounds basically they are resonance stabilized correct so when they are resonance stabilized we really very well know they are less reactive already they have attained stability they don't participate readily as compared to aliphatic compounds yes so resonance stabilizer is one concept next important thing is your aryl group whatever is there yeah aryl means the benzene ring okay if you are not understanding right let us write the benzene ring so the benzene ring which is there along with this aldehyde group or ketonic group not always but it depends upon the uh, particular uh, substituent but here in this particular case and the benzene ring reduces the reduces the positive charge on carbon what am i trying to do positive charge on carbon hence less reactive hence less reactive okay let me explain what it is what am i trying to explain i've given you two reasons first try to write the reasons so so that the examiner can put a tick and give you marks here right i said it's resonance stabilized let us see take one example of benzaldehyde i'm going to take an example of benzaldehyde what is benzaldehyde benzene ring with c h double bond o this is benzaldehyde isn't it so let us write the name also now i said now i said here due to the electronegativity difference between carbon and oxygen this particular oxygen is going to drag the electrons towards it yes or no so what happens here now it is 1 2 3 4 it is 5 6 okay, let me write that arrow above 5 6 7 8 isn't it now due to the electronegativity difference it's going to drag the electrons yeah and when it is dragging the electrons this becomes positive and this becomes negative let us see how does it look your benzene ring this is your bond this is your bond now this is also a bond carbon hydrogen one oxygen has dragged it is going to become 1 2 3 4 because the pair of electrons is already shifted to oxygen 1 2 3 4 5 6 minus correct so 7 8 now this becomes a positive charge now because of this positive nature this bin aryl ring starts donating now what does it do it starts donating electrons from the benzene ring now this is your aryl ring isn't it oh yeah so this pi electron gets shifted here now how does this look this looks like now you have your benzene ring with double bond right now carbon is here h is here oxygen is still there only 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 now what happened here because it has donated a pair of electrons a site of positive charge appears there isn't it it has lost uh, a pair of electrons so positive charge now to satisfy this positive charge this pi bond is going to shift now it's going to start showing resonance how does this when this shifts how does this look you have your benzene ring correct now this bond is shifted here correct so this becomes plus again you have a bond here as it is it is same double ch single bond 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 now to satisfy this this pi bond is going to shift in this direction how what do you get you get a benzene ring now because this has shifted here it just becomes 
this becomes plus correct now this bond has shifted here there is one more bond here and what do i get double bond ch double single bond o 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 now because now this is a plus isn't it because this has shifted to this direction yeah <clears throat> now to satisfy this the plus this bond is going to shift here and what do i get i get finally one pi bond here one here one here this becomes single bond yeah observe carefully now this is going to drop in here and this becomes ch double bond o right so the resonance hybrid now i've got so when i write the resonance hybrid how do i write i basically write like this plus the dotted line and yeah cho so the resonance hybrid now observe carefully here the pi bond was between 1 and 2 here the pi bond is between 2 and 3 is didn't it show it resonance structures now because of this <laughs> resonating structures aromatic allia it's a highly stable if it is highly stable it is obvious they are less reactive let us come back as i said aryl ring reduces the positive charge as you can see it's it's deeper it's donating electrons always to the carbon atom when the carbon atom if the positive charge is in excess the, will the nucleophile approach and give its electrons to carbon that carbon no isn't it so there is no already it is fill, fill, it is it has excess of electron cloud which is donated by the aryl ring so again this reason also justifies that they are less reactive so please write this answer for if this question is asked now they've asked me to write the reactivity based on this now let me write this is a part and let me number this is b part i have to show among these which is highly reactive so what should i write i have to write in the decreasing order please observe that always students don't read this and they write the highest one here and the least one here please don't do that the decreasing order means last one should be minimum means it, it should have minimum reactivity and the first one should be maximum reactivity so what is this benzophenone what is benzophenone formula benzophenone is benzene ring correct in the center co one more benzene ring. this is benzophenone let us number this is one okay now as benzaldehyde they said so benzene ring with cho let us number this as two acetophenone they said right i have to write acetophenone what is acetophenone your benzene ring with your co ch3 right this is <coughs> acetophenone correct so this number this is now observe carefully among these three which has more aryl groups this has more aryl groups if the aryl groups are more they are less reactive yes so this is the least reactive so that is the basis more of aryl groups it is less of reactivity so one has least reactivity so what order will i write now i have to write this order the least reactive is one what is the maximum reactivity shown compared to this and this you have an alkyl group here please remember alkyl and aryl you have to be careful again electron releasing group there isn't it so next comes your three then highest reactivity is two two greater than three greater than one so based on this concept so please note